Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, I want to talk about Glocks and what I think your first three upgrades for the Glock should be. So, first and foremost, just so you guys know, we are empty. So, this is my Glock 19 uh, with the Trigicon SRO. I've done a video on it in the past. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure to check it out. Just kind of want to really quick go over the first three items I think you should upgrade your Glock with. It's not going to be a red dot, anything like that. It's just going to be the basics of what I think is going to actually help you enjoy this gun a lot more and actually be able to control it a lot easier. The first upgrade I recommend for your Glock is going to be an extended mag release. This one's going to be the Vickers Tactical from Tango Down. I'll post a link in the description below. So the extended mag release is going to help you a lot. The one that comes stock obviously is going to work okay. So this is going to help you without having to break your grip a lot in order to reach the mag release like the stock one. And with this uh, Vickers Tactical extended mag release, it's going to help you have a lot more of a, an easier reach. It's going to make you not have to break your grip. Every time you want to do a reload, you just have to move that thumb. You just have to move the thumb down and you're good to go. You don't have to break your grip as much, which is why I recommend that being your first upgrade on your Glock. Um, after that, I think the next upgrade should be an extended slide release. Um, this isn't crazy competition style. But it's definitely a nice extension to where, again, you're not going to have to break your grip in order to lock that slide back or send it forward. It's really nice. This one's going to be the Ghost Ink Extended Slide Release. I'll, I'll post a link in the description below as well. Again, I like this one a lot. You're able to lock the slide back really easy with your right thumb because, again, it's extended and it's not too crazy to where it's going to get snagged on your holster or your garment if you're concealing. I like this a lot. It's a really nice upgrade. I highly recommend it. Also, I'm not sponsored just so you know by any of these companies. This is just from user experience what I recommend and uh, what I feel like is going to help you enjoy this gun a lot more and be able to run it with a lot more confidence. So the third upgrade I think you should get for your Glock is going to be a weapon light of some sort. A lot of people like to run the Surefire 300 or the Streamlight TLR7 which is what I'm running here. This is going to be the TLR7A. I like this weapon light a lot because it's really flush with the Glock 19 as you can see. It just makes it a little easier to conceal in my opinion. Um, it just looks a little, little more flush. I just I like this a lot for the 19. Not to take away from the Surefire 300, there's perks of the 300 as well um, as far as it being a little past the slide so if you ever have it pressed up against something um, it helps it from not going out of battery which that's a nice perk of the Surefire 300. But in my opinion, for the 19, I like the TLR7A a lot, which is what I'm running here. I'll post a link for that in the description below as well, just so you know. Another perk of that uh, weapon light, being able to train at night with it, obviously. And this isn't to take away from a magwell or night sights or red dot, etc. These are just what the first three simple upgrades I feel like will really help you enjoy your handgun a lot more. Again, those are going to be the three upgrades I think you should get for your Glock, especially your Glock 19. It's going to make you uh, enjoy this gun a lot more. It's going to make it more of a gun that you're going to be able to control better. Uh, like I said, with an extended slide release, extended mag release. So like I said, with an extended mag release, it's just going to make it a lot easier. Also an extended slide release, it's going to be a lot easier to lock it back or send it forward. And again, uh, some type of weapon light of some sort it's going to help you be able to identify obviously in a dark situation or a low light no light situation so i hope uh, some of you guys learned something today if you guys have any questions go ahead and shoot me a comment down below and thank you guys for watching